So for the purpose of the special test, what we're looking at currently is a special test for stress fractures of the hip and or femur. And the first test we're going to discuss is the patellar pubic percussion test. And in terms of sensitivity specificity, this is actually a pretty good test in particular for our clinical exam. So the patellar pubic percussion test has a sensitivity of 95, a specificity of 86, with a positive likelihood ratio of 6.11, meaning in terms of affecting your post-test probability, this is actually a pretty useful test. So what you need for this test is a stethoscope and either a tuning fork, you can also use your fingertips. So in order to perform this test, the stethoscope is going to be placed over the pubic symphysis of the patient. So I'm going to be palpating, finding the pubic symphysis, placing the stethoscope. I'm going to use a tuning fork for the purposes of this demo. Tap the tuning fork, we're going to place it directly over the patella on the affected side. And we're listening for a tone of percussion. For this test, you're going to be comparing each side, and a decreased percussion on the affected side would suggest potential stress fracture of the hip and would require immediate referral. Another test that's commonly used in patients that potentially are at risk for stress fracture is considered the stress fracture fulcrum, trust, fulcrum test. Sensitivity of this test is 100. Specificity has not really been studied, and so the likelihood ratio is not great. However, when you're just potentially considering that you know, reproduction of symptoms potentially only happen with a hop test, and you're not really able to elicit signs and symptoms in any other part of your examination, and there's consideration that this patient could be at risk for a stress fracture, this is another kind of tool in the box that's a useful tool. So in terms of the stress fracture fulcrum test, basically for the affected side, you always compare side to side. For the demo, we're just going to practice what we believe is the affected side. And basically, the forearm of the therapist is used as the fulcrum. So my forearm is going to be placed at the distal aspect of the femur. And you move proximally throughout the examination. So my forearm acts as the fulcrum. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure at the distal knee and just kind of bounce there. And then I'm going to move up the femur into different areas. Consider to apply that pressure. And then if the test elicits any of those similar signs and symptoms, very sharp pain, indicative of exactly where the patient was reporting symptoms, that's considered a positive test. And again, comparing it to the opposite side. Now, often this test is just uncomfortable for patients in general. So it is, and this is why it's a very sensitive test. A lot of patients will uh, demonstrate a positive response. But what you're looking for is that specific sharp pain that's that patient's concordant sign.